from turning the dial up to 11 and spilling more blood than ever to a shocking time jump tease coming from the creators, here's why Stranger Things Season 5 will be a completely different show. Ready or not, time to say goodbye to the friendly neighborhood town of Hawkins. The new season will paint the town red and no, not the happy color. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news for the fans, the last chapter will unleash a total bloodbath. But let's be real, y'all were dreading it and knew it was coming. Every diehard fan is no stranger to the fact, yes, pun very much intended, that this Netflix show has always played it safe. None of the main characters have died in all four seasons. I know Eddie's season four sacrifice was crushing, and so were Bob, Chrissy, Billy, and Barb's deaths, but they all had supporting roles. So far, all the main cast has escaped unscathed. Even those who had a terrifyingly close brush with the Grim Reaper, like Will, or those who even died, ahem, <coughs> spoiler alert, Hopper, came back from the dead. Now, as much as you wish the miracles keep happening in season five, their luck may have run out. It's no secret, the series' stakes are now higher than ever and Hawkins not the same nothing ever happens here fly on the wall. It's now the center of a world-changing takeover. So everything has changed and blood will spill. Get a load of this, even the core cast is in favor. Millie Bobby Brown and Noah Schnapp, aka Eleven and Will, called out the Duffer Brothers for being sensitive sallies, not willing to take out the main squad. The brothers replied by saying, they're not going out on a Game of Thrones style red wedding here. Still, major deaths can't be avoided now. And tell you what, even if the showrunners are being coy about the blood spill, at least they admitted the final ride would be epic and emotional. Oh, if you thought Stranger Things was emotional before, the last season is amped up to make you run out of tissue boxes. And check this out. That has already happened in the studios. Sean Levy, the show's executive producer and director, revealed that when the brothers pitched the two-hour-long storyline for The Last Ride, not a single eye was left dry. Everyone bawled, and the same fate is awaiting you. All the cast and crew keep repeating the same sentiment. For starters, David Harbour, your beloved Sheriff Hopper, called Chapter 5 very bittersweet, saying it keeps giving him sad feels. Sadie Sink, aka Vecna's recent victim Max, has also talked about it being scary and sad. Remember, things aren't looking good for her right now. Her character's in a coma, and Eleven can't find her in her mind. That's already ringing some danger bells, and there's no bigger sign than this. Stranger Things' tone has drastically shifted to dark and macabre. Some of you'll think it was dark already, but now you better hold on tight. The showrunners won't be pulling any punches. There'll be no time for hot girl summer montages, or Happy Dungeons & Dragons Game Fest. Ross Duffer confirmed that, saying, it'll be super emotional and pedal to the metal from the opening scene. Everything has become far more severe. As for the dark tone, now you'll see a new post-apocalyptic feel seeping into it. This time, the Netflix series is bringing in every sci-fi trope that exists. From other dimensional monsters to a parallel world opening right under your feet, it's only fair if an apocalypse pops in. It was evident in the closing scenes of season four when the flowers turned dead. The horrifying cracks to the upside down made jaws drop and the reddish black smoke promised more evil. Some fan theories suggest that this was only a teaser for season five. It might take us into a future where the whole world looks like it. Maybe most of the earth starts getting infected and our squad may need years to counter that. Hold on to this, I've a major reveal about that coming later. Anyway, the prep time might be so long that the world would become every post-apocalyptic planet in your sci-fi nightmares. After all, the Upside Down is no longer the battlefield. Vecna is bringing the fight to Hawkins. This also means the mystery element will have to take a back seat now, as full-fledged, intense action takes the wheel.
Yep, the Scooby-Doo vibes the show was known for won't be there any longer and it won't be just the kids now. This one makes total sense if you think about it. The government may have been able to cover the Hawkins lab disaster, the Mind Flayers underground tunnels, and the Starcourt Mall's Soviet takeover and battle, but how will it explain the cracks? You don't expect the world to believe they're just some side effects of the earthquake. Oh no, even if people believed that for a while, the toxic rain clouds in season 4's ending say enough. Now that every unaware Hawkins resident has seen the hell lying below their feet firsthand, they won't be as gullible. That means Hawkins, Indiana would probably be taken over by the military before Vecna sticks his claws in for real this time, and nothing would be secret anymore. I know some of you might miss the investigative process of the previous seasons, myself included, but now there's no mystery left to unravel. It's only time for a fight. A fight for your lives. And you better believe our squad will need all the external help they can this time. Yes, some of them might be the same military bosses that didn't believe them the first time, looking at you, Lieutenant Colonel Jack Sullivan. Heck, maybe he'll still hold Eleven responsible. But the government has no choice but to intervene, and everyone will come together for this fight. Now, as I said before, a battle at this unprecedented scale can't just be a one and done. It may take years, and that plotline would work with the current glaring problem the show has, the fast-growing kids in the cast. Oh, who am I calling kids? They are all adults. And look nothing like they all did in the first season. That's a recurring problem for any show that's based on a young cast. They grow up, even if the story needs them to stay frozen in time. No matter how much they rush each season, it takes more than a year or two and you know puberty comes knocking without warning. We've already seen that in season 4 where all of the cast are lanky teenagers going through the hellhole we call high school. It has already been a year since the last chapter and the filming for the final season hasn't begun. Oh yes, if you're hoping to see it by the end of summer 2023, Keep waiting, pal. Stranger Things 5 will need more than a year or two. Even though David Harbour said they'd begin shooting in June, the month has already passed, and there's no official, hopeful update in sight. Quite the opposite. The Duffer Brothers released a statement that the show's set is caught in the Writer Guild of America strike. And they need the writers not just before the filming, but throughout the process. Since they're unavailable, this fan-favorite show will inevitably face more delays. Ouch, probably not the news you wanted to hear. As gutting as it is, the cast's age isn't stopping for anyone, so the only solution that makes sense is a time jump. Fans weren't the only ones worrying about age issues. The showrunners had already thought about it. That's why Ross Duffer seemingly confirmed in June 2022 that he's sure they'll do a time jump. He said that while it would have been more feasible to shoot seasons four and five back to back, unfortunately it wasn't possible. Now the writers have little choice but to fast forward the clock. So remember all those fan theories that said it'd take years to fend off Vecna? They weren't far off. You might be looking at an adult main gang and not the kids you first met in season one. That's somewhat sentimental, but the show must go on, right? It could include them being real adults, having jobs, and finding ways to counter the world-ending threat. Maybe like Avengers Endgame. But hold up a sec. Interestingly, some fans thought maybe Stranger Things Season 5 would go back to the past instead of the future. Because let me remind you, the Upside Down is frozen in time on November 6th, 1983, the same day Will Byers went missing. The show didn't reveal that bit just for fun. It's undoubtedly a major plot twist. Noah has also said Will's a big focus in the upcoming season, and it all comes back to him. So maybe our Hawkins kids can go back in time, like in Endgame, and with a little CGI magic to make them look like kids, kill Vecna before he even made his first move. Is that possible or am I just making things up? Guess we'll wait for season 5's release to find out. So from a shocking time jump tease coming from the creators to turning the dial up to 11 and spilling more blood than ever? That was why Stranger Things Season 5 will be a completely different show.